Today's election day, you have a little over an hour to drop off your ballot. Now, if you're thinking, wait a minute, ballot? I didn't get a ballot. Not to worry. It's a small election, only a few items on the ballot. So if you didn't get it one, there's a chance you have nothing to vote on. Seriously, in Multnomah County, for example, only about 3,000 people will get the option of voting today. But even smaller elections matter. So we hope that all 3,000 of you will indeed vote. And on this election day, a new report came out showing that election workers in Oregon are having kind of a hard time running elections right now. It's something that we've been hearing anecdotally over the years, but researchers from Reed College talked with county clerks or elections directors from each of Oregon's 36 counties. The report was commissioned by the Oregon Secretary of State's Elections Division, and they presented it to the House Rules Committee today in the Capitol. Here's Oregon State uh, Secretary of State LaVon griffin Vallade. The report is grim, is a grim look at what our county clerks face. It is also a testament to their professionalism and ingenuity. Over the last few years, almost 34% of Oregon's county clerks have retired and left their jobs, which is 12 experienced clerks gone. This is a huge loss of experience and knowledge. When we ask why they're leaving, many cite the same things, threats, abuse, and harassment, largely stemming from the false belief that the 2020 election was stolen. Mm. Many of the offices are also dealing with budget cuts and facing extreme budget shortfalls. The researchers from Reed did indeed find some common themes when they interviewed those election workers. One of the biggest issues, staffing. We've heard it before, so here's another industry. They're having trouble finding and keeping workers. The clerk said election staff are paid around $14 an hour in some areas, and that people can make the same amount of money working at fast food and then cannot afford housing to live near the election's office. They also said it's complex and that it takes about four years to really get the hang of it because you need to work all the different kinds of elections that come through. And they say it's demanding work. Employees have to come in early and stay late, maybe work weekends in the months around the filing season and the elections themselves. The clerks also say they need more staff because elections are more complex with changes to Oregon's voter registration and extending mail-in voting deadlines. And they're concerned it'll get even more complex as more places adopt ranked choice voting. Here's Dag Robinson, the county clerk in Harney County. The clerks have angst because we don't feel that our infrastructure is in place to support that yet and we fear that we fear that without any inf uh, financial infrastructure that that's going to be dangerous for us that's the concern uh, we're not opposed to any kind of any kind of voting solution but we want to make sure the infrastructure is in place to to do that and at, and at today it is not in place so they're raising the alarm. The researchers from Reed noted that the elections director and the clerks that they talked with all love their jobs, that they reported a high level of pride in their work, but that they're dealing with a lot of stress and burnout at the same time, in addition to threats and harassment. They said some offices are now even holding active shooter drills and armoring their front desks. This year, only a relatively small election year for Oregon, but next year, it's going to be a lot bigger. The researchers recommend that lawmakers make changes in the coming year to improve staffing and study the cost of running an election. How about that?